Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Camila aka Kami Swimming and welcome to another speed video. Today, um, since last week, I think uh, the, tra the trailer for the new uh, Sims 4 expansion pack came, came out, uh, which is which will be Eco Lifestyle. Um, I was so inspired to build to build something um, eco, uh, like eco friendly, uh, green <laughs> in different ways. So I decided to, since from the trailer we we have seen that it will be possible to build proper container homes. Uh, I wanted to build one myself with the items that I already got in my in my game. Uh, so, uh, long story short, we're here in Windenburg, in the Old Town area, uh, which may seem like inappropriate, but I think that the contrast is uh, really good between uh, my container homes and the Tudor houses that surround it. Surround it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we are building on a 20 by 20, I think. It's a very mm, small lot. Not the smallest one in the game, but it's very small. Um, and yeah, while I was building this, I had a particular sim in mind. And um, as I went on building uh, his, because he's a guy, his um, personality became uh, even more clear, even clearer. So I will talk about him in just a second. But... The thing I like about this container home is uh, first the color scheme and then the like uh, combination of industrial and more um, older looking uh, items. Uh, for example, the obviously the like corrugated metal that I used on the exterior of some of the boxes. And then I used uh, many items from Strangerville, for example, the, the doors and the windows, and I combined them with more modern windows, modern fences, um, modern furniture. So it's a very um, mix and match uh, kind of house because, yeah, I combined this, these two styles, but I think that they combine, they go very well together since... It's kind of an eco-friendly house. Maybe the guy that lives here um, found the different items and decided to put them all in his house uh, without um, getting rid of the more uh, older looking um, items. And so, yeah, but you will see what I'm talking about when, I, when we will go on and build uh, something more <laughs> when we will furnish the house, uh, but you can already see what I mean by uh, combination because we have a very modern window on front from Get Together and then uh, other windows from Get Famous and Stringerville. But this sim that lives here, I imagine that he is a young adult, maybe he is in university um, and he is very passionate about the environment and saving like uh the world let's say from climate change and yeah this mm, topic is very is very important to him and he tries to like i don't know the word like make uh others sensitive um to the to the matter like uh wants to show other people that this is an important matter that everyone should care about and yeah so and to do this you will see that he has a video recording station the one from get famous um because initially i didn't know what to put um in the in that in that corner and then i thought that he could do like videos on youtube or simtube i don't know uh, to explain to other people uh, the importance of respecting nature and um, having a more equal lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, the as you can see, the different containers are are mainly 
two, the, the house, let's say, is divided into two parts. We have the bigger ones, that is the one that we are furnishing now, that has the um, uh, kitchen and the like office space on the ground floor. And on the second floor, we have the bathroom and the bedroom, which is a kind of loft bedroom because there is no corridor or anything. And the other container is the living area. Um, I imagine that the sim that lives here maybe studies like biology or physics or something that has to do with science because yeah he wants to have an impact a real impact on uh, the environment that the, that is this this matter that uh, it's really important to him and also the kitchen here i used uh, some base game counters combined with uh, the parenthood ones uh, so maybe he found them he found the base game one the more uh, industrial one uh, somewhere and he brought it home because yeah he needed uh, an extra counter and um, he didn't want to to waste this one that it was in a perfect perfect condition still and so he took advantage of this one and took took it home uh, we have the study area here we have initially i placed down two desks because i imagined that there were two sims living here but then i yeah i went on with the single sim idea he has the study area with the computer and the video recording station. Um, yeah, so I imagine that he is kind of an introvert. So he doesn't uh, like um, exposing himself too much. But it's th that kind of introvert that uh, enjoys making videos because he doesn't have an actual audience in front of him. So it's easier for him to talk about what's important to him. And um, I placed some uh, this bookcase under the stairs and some clutter. Um, I imagine that these are the things that he's researching on. Um, he's like so into it that he's so chaotic. He leaves everything all over the place because uh, I don't know if you can picture this, but like it's uh, he's wants to find out um, the all that he can about uh, the matters, uh, the matter of um, the environment and how to save it. And so it's very messy. Um, he has like paper everywhere and documents and, but you will see when I place them down, uh, you will see what I mean. And, but anyway, even though he's maybe uh, an introvert, so it's, um, he enjoys spending time on his own. He also likes to have friends over. So I, uh, since he has like a big living area, I um, wanted to give him some activities to do with friends. And so you will see it uh, later when we will do the other, when we will furnish the other container. Um, yeah, so now I'm placing the clutter that I was talking about earlier, you will see you're seeing that he has all these files and documents and older uh, stuff about uh, the environment that he wants to he wants to study to maybe to do some videos to have like some um, yeah some documents uh, to base his videos on and this is the bathroom it's very mixed ma mixed and matched like the the rest of the house we have the shower tub combo from Strangerville that is uh very run down uh yeah maybe he, he found it somewhere uh and he took it home because it needed one uh like the like with the kitchen and yeah um so with the bedroom bedroom i didn't i have a very clear idea so i just went with the usual color um you will see it uh it's just a simple bedroom and yeah i used these items from get famous to give the containers even a, a more an even more uh industrial look uh, yeah and he has a lot of storage space because he has i imagine that he has like a lot of documents and paper everywhere and he has he needs some place to store them all so uh and he doesn't stop learning and studying even when he ha when he's in the in bed because you will see that he has um 
other books and other things uh, on the, uh, the nightstand uh, next to his bed. Uh, on one, he has like a diary and the that like open um, open book, open notebook that maybe he writes his notes on while on the on the diary he writes more like introspective things um, because I imagine that he's a very tidy sim, very like organized, maybe not in his uh, in his house because it's very messy but and he wants to like keep uh, his thoughts very tidy, very accessible that he can like go back to his different notebooks and find what he's looking for. And another um, cool feature, I think, it's the like uh, rooftop garden that I placed. I placed a little garden here on this little, little uh, balcony here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and here on the top, I added some plants uh, on both of the of the roofs. Um, it's very green. There there aren't many flowers. It's more like plants, green plants. And I thought about adding another tree here, but it it was like too big. I didn't like it very much. So, um, and another thing that you will see later is that um, he's very since he loves the environment, the he loves nature in general. He also is very into like um, the wellness skills. So he practices yoga. He likes to uh, be like one with the nature and yeah, uh, feeling part of the nature during yoga, maybe in the woods or even in his garden. Um, and he also has an easel because he likes to paint. He's I think that he's not very good at it, but he tries anyway uh, because he enjoys portraying uh, stuff like uh, like forests or the landscape that he sees in front of him. And in this like living area, we also have uh, the laundry. Uh, so we have a washer and dryer that maybe are powered by, uh, by solar panels that I forgot to put, actually, <laughs> I realized. I realized it when it was like too late uh, so but I think that he's very responsible even when even with uh, laundry so and he doesn't have a TV but he has a computer so I think that's enough and he has like this football table and the bar he has a lot of uh, stuff to increase uh, his fun um, talking about it let's say let's say gameplay and um, stuff that happens in the game. He has a lot of uh, items that can increase his fun. Uh, yeah, he also has this radio to, to dance and and I added uh, also some planners outside. Mm, yeah, basically he's a person that has a lot of interests, a lot of hobbies and he wants to experiment everything that he can. So yeah, uh, this is it for this uh, for today's build. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and, subs and subscribe to the channel um, so you won't miss any new videos. Um, yeah, so have a great day. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.